Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. I'm really happy to welcome another litter of Suriname red tail boas that were born just a few days ago. Today I want to show you guys the babies, show you the parents, say a little bit more about the litter. If you've been following the channel, you may have noticed that often I'll show a litter reveal video where I go in with my camera and I take a look at the babies for the first time while filming. Uh, hopefully it captures some of the excitement and you know anticipation of having baby boa litters. Sometimes though I'm just so super busy and a litter is born and I just can't film at the time. I just have to concentrate on getting the mother taken care of, getting the babies out. I'll come home after a long day and discover there's a litter on the ground, something like that. You know, it might be night, I can't have the cameras filming when my family is sleeping. So this was one of those cases where I wasn't able to film the litter reveal video. But I have the babies, I'll show you the babies in a sec, show you the mother. Um, beautiful litter of Prometheus bloodline, Suriname, red tail boa, I was really happy with them. I've also been really busy caring for all these new 2022 babies lately. So I haven't had quite as much time to make these videos, but I've got a long list of topics that I intend to cover at some point once I have a little bit more free time. Um, but it's always exciting to get all these litters on the ground, all these beautiful babies. Um, you know, really keeps me busy and this is really what I'm in the hobby for. So with that in mind, let's have a quick look at the mother and then I'll show you guys the babies. Here's the mother of the litter. This female was born here in 2014. And this is actually her second litter as well, but her first litter was with a different male. But just a real nice animal. Actually from my first litter of Suriname red tails I had back in 2014. And uh, a little bit bigger than the male, maybe about seven feet. I actually, I didn't want to take her out because I just fed her like two days ago after she had the litter. Actually, she's kind of active. Sometimes when they give birth, they get like super hungry. They're just really focused on putting back the weight. She lost quite a bit of weight putting into those 10 babies. So I fed her a rat a few days ago. I'll probably give her another rat uh, in another few days, get the weight back on. But uh, she did great and she'll get another two years off, maybe in what, 2024, she'll be ready to have another litter. But until then, she'll just rest and recover and uh real nice animal and this female is the full sibling litter mate from 2014 of the mother of last year's litter and same father so it's a bit of a dysfunctional family if you will but uh nice genes to come together for these beautiful Suriname red tail boas and i think that the babies from the litter last year and this year's litter are going to be pretty similar since they're so closely related one thing with breeding any type of boa is to just keep careful track of the genetics and when you have multiple pairs and you know second third generation babies you really want to know where they came from and what their pedigree is as far as their lineage so that you can you know set them up appropriately hopefully to eliminate uh, as much inbreeding as possible and here we have the babies i'm just keeping them in this 14 gallon sterilite tub there they are. As usual, they kind of pile up in a, a, a heap of boas. I think it gives them safety in numbers, makes them feel safe with their siblings. So there's 10 of these beauties from this litter. So these guys are pretty big. One of my larger boas definitely at birth, probably close to two feet long. And I've noticed that this Prometheus bloodline has larger babies in general but some real nice peaky looking animals just love the tails on these guys there I zoomed in I took out the paper towel substrate just so you could see them a little bit better you can see their colors are still pretty dull they haven't shed yet they'll definitely be much brighter colors after they shed Just love looking at this pile of true red tail goodness. It's just uh, really the dream for me as a boa breeder to produce animals like this. And you can see a close up of some of the tails, but the animals from this bloodline just have this such a nice long red tail, which is gonna be brighter after they shed. 
there you can see uh, one of the umbilical cords is still attached to that one that's kind of slithering through the bottom there but they'll fall off when they shed if not before I also love their cute little faces and beautiful markings on their heads just a joy to behold a true work of reptile art so I'm going to put some down some more paper towel in a sec here I just wanted to show you guys the heat mat you can see under there I got it kind of taped down with some blue tape and you can probably also see the uh, probe for the thermostat that I have taped down there with blue tape but just a simple heat mat and it's set to maintain about 90 degree temperature on one side of the enclosure. So I just changed the paper towels and the water and they're just going to stay in here until they just before they shed at about you know nine ten days of age and then they'll go to their separate enclosures. I don't think that they drink that much but I always like having the water dish in there just to raise the humidity and I also go ahead and spray them down with a sprayer a couple times a day keep them nice and moist and there you can just see them but I'm super happy with this litter just I think it represents everything I've been working towards with my Suriname true red tail breeding project and uh, some real top-notch animals on this litter I want to show you the father so this guy was uh, born here in 2016 his father was Prometheus who was one of my more well-known red tails his mother came from the Florida red tails bloodline and this guy I think really looks a lot like his father he's got this kind of crazy wild look to him uh, long bright red tail I think he's going into shed right now so not quite as bright as he normally is but just a really beautiful looking animal he's also relatively calm for a Suriname you know he's pretty enjoyable to hold he's not real super squeezy like a lot of my Surinams and he um, doesn't you know wrap around my hand and cut off the circulation or anything like that so just a really chill really cool boa a joy to handle you know a joy to have in the collection this guy this is actually his second litter he had a litter last year it was his first litter and that was actually the one of the sisters of the mother of this year's litter so the I have some babies from last year that I held back uh, maybe I'll show you one in a sec but they'll probably the babies from this year's litter will probably look very similar to them because although they're not like full siblings they're more than half siblings because they got the same father and the mothers were like uh, sisters if that makes sense so basically it's a cross combination of my two uh, my two best bloodlines I'm working with the Prometheus bloodline and another bloodline I call the uh, Picasso bloodline and you know these two bloodlines kind of look different but I think combining them I get some really really beautiful results and hopefully some really genetically diverse Suriname boas and so this is uh, this project both of these bloodlines are now into their second generation so I've been working with them for quite a while so um, you can see this guy's not real big he's maybe six feet the mother's about the same size maybe a little bigger but you know these aren't giant animals but just a real nice top shelf Suriname boa uh, you know for a great example of a true red tail so to wrap up the video this is by yearling holdback from you know very closely related to this year's litter same father different mother but the mothers of the two litters were actually sisters full siblings so somewhere between a half sibling and a full sibling as far as the genetic relationship and I just really love this guy because he's his light colors and beautiful long red tail probably should get out the close-up lens again but uh, maybe in a future video this guy is doing real well he's a year old now um, no problems no regurgitation or anything like that just been super healthy and great animal to handle but this is um, one of the animals I selected from that litter to take on to continue the project into the next generation and hopefully it's getting better with each generation and you know this year I have quite a few nice animals I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hold back any of my Surinams I've just got so many Surinams this year um, you know in the past few years of course I'd love to hold back all of them or you know at least a lot of them but you know I have limited bandwidth limited space so 
sometimes I just have to let animals go. So I'm gonna have a lot of really, really top shelf Suriname boas available this year. Probably, I don't know, in a couple months, just gotta get them feeding and established. So I would imagine sometime around the uh, late September, early October time frame that this year's baby is going to be due. Um, but just real happy with the litter. It's been a real heck of a uh, good breeding season for me. Got lots of babies. Still have some pregnant animals, so the breeding season continues. We'll just have to see what August holds. July was super busy if you've been following the channel. But expect a few more real nice litters in August, maybe even into September. So. Uh, never a dull moment here at Brian Boas. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about these Suriname boas or any of my animals or anything about boa related, feel free to shoot me a line. If you're new here, it's a, please consider subscribing if you're interested in boas and want to hear all about them. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.